My name is Bryce Richards and I am uh, the middle school principal here at Concord. And I'm also actually the assistant head of school, which happened last year while I was here. So this is my first year, came from Washington State. And when I got here during that first year, we worked on really establishing a middle school identity, just its own culture of itself within a bigger unit, you know, our own team within inside a greater, a greater team, you know. And we established a real six through eight presence with our own teaching staff, things we were really focused in on, on teaching kids of that age and some developmentally appropriate things academically, socially, emotionally, creating our own relationship structure, service opportunities, and mission-minded approach at that level. And we've been able to do that, create some support structures, some are really working towards that kind of lead teachers that are developing in their curricular areas to kind of guide the rest of the team too. And just as we've moved into that first year, I think we really established ourselves as, as a school that was seeking and identifying like greater goals and essential questions and really a kingdom-minded approach on where we wanted kids to end when they graduated and left here at Concord. So I think the teachers on staff here, K through 12, and, and at all levels really, but specifically to me at the middle school. I mean, they are the foundation of the connection point with what we're trying to do with reaching students. I mean, the, we really look for teachers that uh, not only have the academic sense, the awareness, the giftedness to teach, the calling to teach, but that are relationally minded. You know, when I'm hiring, I'm looking for the all pro. I just don't want somebody that's just really good at what they're doing. I mean, I'm looking for that next level player, the all star, the one that's gonna be involved with the students, mentoring the students, sharing Christ with them, teaching their curriculum, and being relational and guiding students in their questions as they go through that. We've had a 30% growth in enrollment in the middle school, so just a phenomenal growth for one year. I mean, it's kind of unheard of in any academic setting. And so to grow that much and to maintain culture and bring on people that are like-minded, team players that have just molded into our culture, you know, having other teachers on interview teams and, and mentoring those teachers in the off season, in the summertime and, and bringing them on to this is who we are, this is our values, this is, uh, we want you to be part of this and if this is the mission you're buying in on, then, and then be part of your team. And, and we've had a lot of staff members in doing so and just really pouring into kids' hearts uh, if we can have them leave here with one thing, it's having that relationship with Christ. You know, I mean, we want to deliver the math with excellence, the English with excellence, but really just a heart for Christ and an ability to impact others in the world when they leave here. I mean, that's the team we're building here. Uh, the 30% growth in student enrollment, and it's created opportunities for me. I love, you know, identifying new processes and everything. So we've been able to kind of recreate a schedule, additional offerings with leadership classes, missions classes, STEM classes, and I see myself as a leader as being someone that's serving them. You know, my t I want to serve them. How do they do their job the best? And so we've been able to add all these things. Um, I mean, I joke that we've got classrooms just stacked with kids just stacked everywhere. We've done a phenomenal job of keeping our class average, but we really are out of room. And we're using every space possible. We're delivering the average we promised to people. Yeah, and, and our students that so were keeping good intentional contact with the teachers to students, but we're out of space. And for me, you know, we can't reach students for Christ if we can't get them in the building. So as we work in the middle school on really focusing on being hands and feet of Jesus, we're, we're really working on opportunities for uh, us to come alongside students and to help them to understand service too. One of the focuses for this year has been, we do a lot of teaching, what it's like to actually lead that charge and, and serve others by leading and, and being part of that. We've added our missions class, which is Life on Missions, which is creating additional short-term service opportunities. You know, we're underway with Capital Campaign and we're gonna be moving towards additional space and just seeing how in encouraged the, the the students have kind of been hearing little sprinkles of that with the uh, pastor presenting some things to parents and, and just teachers hearing that and in just a flurry of excitement of like can't wait for the opportunity to not just have a new space but to reach more students. So their, their focus as a staff is this is a golden opportunity to even reach even more students and share the gospel with more kids in the community and to reach communities around us so that the kids will branch in here with more space available and just sharing Christ being the goal of our meetings and the opportunities to do that, the excitement behind building in Capitol, but really the excitement is generated by the ability to share the gospel with more kids.